Okay, so here is uh, yet another frame problem that we're going to work through. This is problem uh, five um, in the old exam problems. Okay, and what this is, um, you can read through this, but a student decides to go ahead after an exam, uh, use an exercise machine. Okay, uh, you got two vertical columns, AE, whoops, move this up a little bit, AE and CE, CF. Okay, E is an embedded support, okay, a fixed support. F is a pin, okay. Uh, and then so you have two pulleys, B and D, of negligible size, and so the person using the machine is pulling on it, pulling on this cable at an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal, uh, and this uh, the cable runs over pulley D, pulley B to this 80 pound weight, okay? So this is what we got, okay? All of the connections are pins, pin here at C, pin here at F, A, and again, it's a fixed support here at E. Okay, so A, B, C, D, and F are pins. Okay, and obviously there's also a pin here at B. You're not just shown on here, there's D. All right, so A, B, C, D, and F are pins. So the question, there's two questions to this. Determine the force at A, at pin A, and in the column CF, and then also the reactions at E. Okay, now before we go any further, Kind of the typical first step is to at least just think about that is to draw the free body diagram of the entire frame, okay, which gets uh, some or all of the support reactions. But before I do that, I'm going to look at this and say, well, E is a um, is a is a rigid support, an embedded support here at E. So I've got uh, an X component, a Y component to the reaction force, and there's also a reaction moment. So there's three unknowns here at E. And I also have, uh, this is a pin, if I look at CF, CF is a two force member. So I'll, I have a reaction force, a, a vertical reaction force at F. So if I did the free body diagram equilibrium analysis of the entire frame, there's three unknowns at E, one unknown at F, so there's four unknowns, three equations. I know I can't get them all, I might get some of them, right? But rather than do that, what I'm going to do is take a look here at the problem that says determine the forces at A and in column CF. So maybe a better place to start before I do, or rather than do equilibrium of the entire frame, just take a look at member A, B, C, D. Okay, this horizontal member. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw a free body diagram of A, B, C, D. It's uh, on this sheet. Okay. So what I have is this, again, just like always, all my drawings are never to scale, but this is what I've got. Okay, that's it. All right, I put my axes on here. There's Y and X, okay. So pin at A, I have an AY and an AX, all right? Uh, here's the pulleys, this is, this is B, there's the pulley at D, like this, okay? And so what I got then is, here's the cable tension T, here's the cable tension T, Okay, at an angle of 60 degrees. Yeah, okay. AX, AY, uh, at C, all right, again, recognize, recognize CF as a two force member, so you know the line of action. You just don't know the magnitude, all right? So I'm gonna, again, I can guess at a direction. I'm gonna guess like this, FCE, it doesn't, doesn't matter, okay? Whether, whether your assumption of the direction is correct or not uh, shows up when you do the uh, solution to the equations, you get a negative value, positive value, okay? All right, so this is what we've got, okay? Um, let me put some dimensions on here. This is 26 inches. Again, we're neglecting the size of the pulleys. So this is 26 inches. It's 26 inches here, like that. This is, uh, what, 18 inches? that and then this 
is nine inches. Okay, so I've got all of the dimensions on here. Okay. Now I look at this T. Well, T, I know what T is. T is 80 pounds. The cable tension is 80 pounds. I already know that. Okay. So I look at this and I've got three unknowns here. All right. The components of the reaction force at pin A. So I got AX and AY and then FCE. Again, that's why it's important to recognize the two force member. Okay, because if you didn't recognize it as a two force member, then at pin C, you'd have a CX and a CY. Okay, but since it is a two force member, it's just FCE. So I look at this three equations. I have three equations of equilibrium, three unknowns, right? AY, AX, and FCE. I'm in business, I can solve for it. So I can solve for all three of them. So um, I could do sigma FX is equal to zero. Do that first, move this up a little bit. So sigma fx is equal to zero. So what I have then is ax, all right, coming down here, no x component, no x component, but there is an x component to the cable tension uh, at d. Okay, so that is uh, t cosine 60 plus t cosine 60 is equal to zero, all right. T is equal to 80 pounds, so 80 times cosine 60 uh, is 40, all right? So AX is equal to minus 40 pounds. So that's one, we have one of the, of the three unknowns, okay? One of the three unknowns. Now the Y equation, I've got AY is an unknown, FCE is an unknown, obviously the Y component of T is known. So there's two unknowns here. So rather than write that, um, I can look at that and say, well, if I can sum the moments around A, I get FCE. If I sum the moments around C, I get AY. Okay, so either A, summing the moments either around A or C, I'm gonna get one of the two uh, Y direction unknowns, and then I use sigma FY to get the other one. Okay, so I chose MA, All right, again, Defining counterclockwise as positive. All right, so I have minus 80 times 26. That's the moment caused by this cable tension. Okay, then I have FCE counterclockwise, so it's positive. FCE times 52. Okay, and then the Y component of T, which is T uh, sine 60 and 26 plus 26 uh, plus 18. Okay, 26 plus 26 plus 18 is 70. All right, so the moment arm for the Y component here is 70. It's negative. It's in the clockwise direction. So it's uh, T sine 60 times 70. Okay, but I've also got a moment about A caused by the horizontal component of T, the horizontal component of T is T sine 60, its moment arm is nine. Okay, so then the last term in the equation is T sine 60, okay, times nine is equal to zero. Okay, so it's minus 80 times 26 plus FCE times 52, minus T sine 60 times 70, again, force, moment arm, minus T sine 60 is, uh, this should be a cosine, sorry, it's a cosine. All right, T cosine 60 times nine is equal to zero. All right, T is equal to 80, plugging in some numbers, doing a little bit of arithmetic, I get TCE is 140.2 pounds. Okay, so that's TCE, okay. So I have, again, a positive sign means on my free body diagram, FCE is actually going in this direction. And if I think about this physically, all right, this is what uh, CF is doing to this horizontal member. And in turn, the horizontal member is pushing down on FCE or on, on CE. This should be an F. Okay, sorry, this is CF. Okay, should I have all, these should all be CF, sorry. Okay. Okay. So CF, this is what uh, this is what C, that that, that uh, vertical column is doing to the horizontal member. It's pushing up. In turn, the horizontal member is pushing down. So what this physically means is that uh, CF is in compression, which makes sense. 
when you think about it. <coughs> okay, so last but not least, I do the y equation, sigma of y is equal to zero, tells me ay plus fcf, I'll get it right this time, plus fcf uh, minus the y component of the cable tension at d. All right, so it's minus uh, t sine 60. And I've also got this cable tension, so minus t is equal to zero. So ay plus fcf. 140.2, T is equal to 80. I can solve this, I get AY is 9.09 uh, .09 pounds. Okay. okay, so that answers the first question. The force is at A, again, AX and AY, the components, okay, and the force in that column, CF. Okay, all right. We'll turn our attention now to the second question, which is the reactions at E, the second part of the question, which is the reactions at E. So now I can draw the free body diagram of, uh, of AE. Let me do that. So what I have now is here's AE. Like this. Okay. That E is a fixed support, so I have uh, EY, I have EX, get it up here, EY, EX, I have a reaction moment. Again, I don't know the direction of it, so I'm going to guess it's counterclockwise. So here's MRE, All right? So here's the, what's going on at, uh, at E and at A. All right, All right, I have an AX and an AY. Okay, again, equal and opposite, never forget equal and opposite on this one back on the horizontal column, on the horizontal section, I assumed AY was positive uh, in the positive Y direction, AX is in the positive X direction, so equal and opposite, that means this is AY, Okay, never forget equal and opposite, it comes to a frame, and there's AX. Okay, so there's my free body diagram. I need one more thing. I need the dimensions here. This is 66 inches. All right, put the axes on. Never forget your axes. Okay, so here we go. Got three unknowns, E, X, E, Y, and M, R, E, because I know A, Y. Right. A, Y is 9.09 uh, .09 pounds. And as long as I'm here, AX is minus 40, okay? Okay, so sigma of Y is equal to zero. All right, so it's be EY minus AY is equal to zero. So EY is equal to AY is equal to 9.09 .09 pounds. Okay, so that's one of the two components of the reaction force at E. Okay, sigma Fx is equal to zero. So I have minus Ax right, plus Ex is equal to zero. So Ex is equal to Ax, which is equal to minus 40 pounds. Okay, again, be very, very careful, equal and opposite on the, uh, uh, at A, all right? Again, on, I, I repeat myself, but on the, on the horizontal member, I assume a, X is in the positive X direction. So on the vertical member that the, hor that the horizontal member is attached to, it's going in the opposite direction. Okay. okay, one more to go. So I sum the moments. Again, sum the moments anywhere. It makes no difference. So sigma M E is equal to zero. Again, counterclockwise is positive. All right, I look up here. I have a moment caused by AX. There is no moment caused by AY. There's no moment caused by either a EX or EY. So I get a pretty simple expression. I have MRE. Again, never forget the reaction moment is in the equation no matter where you sum the moment. So I have my reaction moment. Okay, I assumed it's counterclockwise and I'm defining uh, counterclockwise as positive. So MRE, AX is tending to rotate it counterclockwise. So it's AX times its moment arm which is 66, all right, so it's MRE, 
plus AX is minus 40 times 66. Do a little bit of arithmetic. MRE is 2640 uh, pound inches. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and again, as long as I uh, as long as I remember this again, looking at the reaction moment, I mentioned this um, previously. But on that first uh, on problem number one, okay, the solution of frame uh, frame problem number one. Uh, I made a mistake on FBE, the units on FBE, FBE, just repeating it here, FBE is minus 61.25 pounds, not pound feet, as you see on the video, okay? So make sure you note that. Okay, so that then takes care of this problem. We've determined the reactions at A, all right, AX and AY, and, uh, and the force acting in the column, again, recognizing the column as a two-force member. Okay, and then finally, the reactions at E. Okay.